Okay, ready hat boy? Yep. It's time for the August 2020 Garden Side Chat. We have four entrants. Still got the old ragged hat, it's making its way down to the end. You see that there? Look at that. Making its way. Okay, here we go. After this, I'm going inside because it is hot out here. Yes, indeed. Got it. Here we go. What we got? She wins again. Who's that? She wins again. Let's see. We'll put this where? Watch it. We'll put it. We'll put it right. Uh, we'll put it right here. Oh, boom. Okay. This is by Lucky Do Garden. Lucky Do Garden wants to know: In preparing for fall gardening, do you add newts, compost? Do you turn your garden? Do you leave anything in your boxes to slowly decompose for the fall? So there we go. Alrighty, it's hot. I'm going inside. All right, thanks, Howard. Look at you. Congratulations on the win. And just to show y'all, I have all the answers and everything questions here uh, in advance, so that when Howard calls it, I'm prepared. So, uh, Lucky Do. Um, the easy answer is yes to everything. So. That's it. Okay, dokes. Thank you very much. No, I'm joking. Um, but really, yes. Yes to everything. Um, so, for those who don't know, when Lucky Do asked for uh, about newts, that's uh, nutrients. Um, because I had a garden test, um, a soil test, everything, I, I know what I have in my garden, so I know that I'm low on nitrogen. So, uh, preparing for the fall, I put in uh, a high nitrogen fertilizer. Uh, such as uh, blood meal that works fine. There's other things that you can get that are even higher than that like like 4600 uh, Urea and other things um, I don't use that. I use blood meals. It's fine with, with, the, with me for that um, For compost, yes, I add my own compost I don't go buying compost anymore if I saw it somewhere where it's like marked down real cheap um, I'll go ahead and pick it up, but otherwise I don't go buy compost because uh, I make it myself um, I do turn my garden, but uh, I generally turn the garden when I'm digging out weeds. So when I have grass and things like that, you might be able to see um, when I'm digging those out, that ends up turning the soil. Um, as far as letting plants die on the top, I actually bury my plants. So that's another way of turning the soil. Rarely ever would I just leave a plant sit on top to break down, except for like grass clippings, that kind of thing will be uh, broken down. Um, on top, so uh, let me make sure I got everything here. Yes, I had the nutrients beforehand. I actually just added them for the fall garden. Um, compost, I had that. I turned my garden and um, leave anything on top. My softer plants, I will bury. So tomatoes and that kind of type of thing, but hard woody plants, I would not bury because it would just take way too long and it might interfere with uh, the plants and everything that I go when I go to bury down uh, starter plants. So. Lucky Do, thanks very much for that. Daisy, E.M., and Keith James, thank y'all for your questions as well. Um, if you want specific information, email me and I can actually give you this information as well um, off, uh, off of the video here. Uh, and uh, E.M., with your question about uh, organic uh, growing for cabbage, I will be making a video uh, about growing grass because uh, in the next uh, week or so, that'll give you a lot of the same information I would have given had your question been answered. So, thank you all very much for the questions. If you want something for September, commentary or email, either which way works fine with me. Thanks for watching. This is Grow Me Something, Mr. And remember to... I don't have an exit line yet, so see you later, everybody.